It's time for me to be the father that I never was. In life, you will meet people. You will be friends and enemies. Sometimes they cross over into- <laughs> uh, Fly, my boy! Fly! What a wonderful day, sweet hanging rabbits. What a wonderful day, empty, empty pot. pot. Full of dreams, hopes, and aspirations, no doubt. What do I have for my breakfast? An empty tummy, of course, is an unproductive tummy. Mother always says, ah, a giant block of cheese. <laughs> get, get in right there. Uh, 7.5 times, and that's in it. Uh, too much. Reverse. There we go. Mmm, I say now that did hit the spot. Time to start the day. Good morning, world. Another wonderful day in the sunny land of Skyrim. Mother, I do hope your day is fairly treating you do well, good well. <coughs> Hello, Sir Duke. The loyal, faithful family pet of several years or so, give or take. Ah, Robert the chicken. We were wrong about you, weren't we? <laughs> I'll pet you. <coughs> mother, I have suffered another one. Don't see many strangers out here. Oh, I know, Mother. You say this every morning. You say, Donkle Moon Glitter, you get to work and earn a living before you go off adventuring into the world trying to make it better. Very well then, Mother. I shall venture into town, sell Robert, earn money to... Who are you? <coughs> Messing up the continuity. <laughs> Chickens for sale! So I have another chicken for your crew, your men, your crew, your ship, your crew, your men. I had two for sale, but then the journey from up there to down here was long, hard, treacherous, and give my belly a mighty grumble. <laughs> so I ate the other chicken whole. I'll be paying for that later. Usual deal, my good man. Have the chicken, I'll help myself to whatever is on board. Tasty rocks this time of year. <laughs> What is that? Why, Captain, I have never been so entranced by a peculiar Halloween get-up before. <laughs> mother! <coughs> mother! 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 Look what I have found! I procured a great relic from some ancient mysterious time. I like to think my sunny personality is what helps the grain grow. Oh, now I know what you're thinking, Mother. Donkle Moon Glitter, there you go again with those stars in your eyes, ruining a meal, picking up some rubbish that you saw. It means absolutely nothing. But I tell you, Mother, it's... It is hypnotic to me. It's singing to me. It, it is... Oh my gosh. We don't have a mirror. <laughs> Very silly of me. What are you doing that for? Because beds are for jumping, Mother. What else are beds for? I'm just putting it there, Mother, because I'm going to go rest my weary bones now. It's been a long day of running slightly down the hill. Welcome, Good night. Welcome, welcome. Good night. Don't see many I love you, my mother. I, I love you, my mother. Mother, I had the most peculiar dream. Uh, say, Mother, uh, what say you to a nice roast piece of... <laughs> mother? Oh, sweet Mother. Slowly roasting over an open stew. Taste! <laughs> uh, clothes fell off mysteriously. Also, who said that? Me. Who's me? Me. Who's me? Uncle Bird. <laughs> This back! Give me my hand back. What do you- who is- Oh, dare you never heard of me. Quite easily, I don't get out much. Are you telling me you had something to do with the murder of my mother and now you're trapped inside my soul for some reason because of something I touched with a mask, I put it on my face, with your soul, was trapped inside the mask and now you're a part of me? 
Yes, in a roundabout way, yes. <gasps> my God, what a plot. Also, I'm very upset because you have killed my mother and I've only got one. Yes, but she looks so tasty. Have a nibble. <gasps> I will not, sir. I need to go outside. I need to go outside. Get out of my head. Get out of my head! No, you fool. If you want me out of your head, you must assist me. Very well. How would I do this? I was wronged. Wronged and stabbed in the back by someone I trusted to be close and a friend. Have you ever considered being a bit nicer and then maybe they wouldn't have- No, you fool! Okay then, okay then. I just want you out of my head as soon as possible and, and bring my mother back. I can't, she's dead. Well, weren't you also dead? You're smarter than you look, but no, she's- she's- Adequately deceased. Oh, rats. Help, help, help. I need help. I need help. I need help. What are you doing? Get help. I need you out of my head. Stop! If you really want me out of your head... I do. Then you will help me... Avenge my death for... for... What happened there? Did you have a bit of a stroke? Somewhat. Some not that kind of happens. It will happen to you too. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. It is no fun. No fun at all. <sighs> Very well. Tell me where you have to go. A weapon. We need a weapon. To kill! Oh. Oh, I don't want to do that. Very well. Then what say you to slightly maiming? I'm a little bit more open to it, but I'm still not a fan. Bloody go into town! Hello, guards. Hey, this is a resident Donkle Moonglitter, here to begin my adventure in the world of Skyrim. What are you doing? Just trying to fit in. Stop trying to fit in and just walk past them, you idiot. Okay then, now I must mention that I don't have any money. Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? We'll find a way. Do you mean you're gonna seal it? Yes. Oh. See, that was easy. Oh, that was quite easy, wasn't it? I still feel really bad, though. Don't! Well, I didn't think of it like that. Grab that armor as well, and that other shield. I'll tell you what, just grab everything and you can set it all. <coughs> Bloody try harder and lift it, it's not that heavy. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. I'll give it here. With this sword, we shall avenge my demise and bring justice to the world. <sighs> Wouldn't it be more like justice if you just stayed dead because of all the naughty things that you did? You know, I understand why you never amounted to anything in your life. Okay. Okay, well, we got a weapon now. Where do we go first? We go to the island of the vampires. Oh boy, that doesn't sound fun. <clears throat> oh my god, there it is. It's the sword that was used to pierce my spine. In a cruel act of betrayal, I shall soon avenge a glass sword, once gifted to who I thought was my best. Best at sticking a sword in your back. Oh, shut up and pick it up. <sighs> ah, yes. Now we use this sword. If we came all the way out here for a sword, what was used in stealing the other ones? Oh, shut up. I uh, will use this sword to avenge my demise. Just as the legends for what were you doing? Did you drop it? No, I thought you you had control of that hand. No, that's that's your pick it up again. Okay. What the hell is that? That, my friend, is a dragon with a giant right. There goes the giant. The giant's gone now. Why is it looking just like that? It issues a challenge. You know, now would be a wonderful time to tell you that I've never been involved in anything remotely like a fight before. Well, there's a first time for everything. Don't worry, I have the experience. Just allow me to take control. What do you mean, can take control? Don't worry, I'll give it back. Why would I believe that? <laughs> Here we are, dragon. Time to taste your own... <laughs> Hell, stupid weak small body. He's flying away. Treating me like I'm completely insignificant. Oh, curse this bo- A crab, a big crab, two crabs, big crabs, three crabs, four, ooh, four crabs. You're big and mighty, but you tread in my land. 
Now feel the vengeance of the vengeance sword of Uncle the Mildrew Beastmark. He just walked into it, and that was power enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. What happened? Did you kill the dragon? Yes, most definitely. Of course no dragon can escape my mind. And then he stopped off for a bit of muck crap. There's one alive! Yes, time for you to take control and kill this one, my friend. I can't kill anything. It's... Well, it's coming right for you, so you better... <laughs> Excellent work, Donkle. Excellent work. I feel... I feel... I feel... I feel... Don't you do it. I, I swallowed it. I swallowed it. There's a good lad. Now let's continue our journey to Riften. Oh, I don't want to go to Riften. It smells. Nonsense! It, yes, it does smell. But we're going there anyway. Just as long as you promise once we get here, you're going to leave my, my body and fly into the, some soul cloud. Yes, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't lie. Hold up a second, why did you say that so sinisterly? I didn't. Okay then, well let's keep going. And so I climbed all the way up there, and, and it, the view is spectacular, truly. If you want to feel better and bigger than everyone, I suggest it. What the bloody hell is that? I don't know, it's just a citizen, we're on a public path. And tell her to shoo! I don't want to do that. And the more we stand here talking to ourselves, the weirder we look. That's true, I guess. Excuse me, madam. Uh, my friend would- Make it quick. Okay, I will. Uh, <clears throat> my friend would very much like you to vamoose. Um, he's- Make it quick. I'm trying. <laughs> Bloody kill her. I can't- I can't kill her. Yes? I can? No, I won't. I won't kill her. I will- Please piss off. Here, this is for you. She gave me a nothing. You. What is it? Look, we have your stupid son. You should probably go and get him. You have a son? Oh, I have many sons. I tell my servants, bring tasty children. But to my disgust, they bring your horrible fat child. Now the child will not leave, only plays with doll, makes servants uncomfortable with staring and rude comments. Please come, remove your unwholesome child from my home. How did she know where to find you? Oh, they always know. Donkle, what are you doing? Donkle, what are you doing? Donkle, stop! We're gonna go find your son! We don't have time for that! Yes, we do! Well, I've got nothing to argue against that, but I don't want to do it. Uncle Bird, Mildrew, Beast, Parkle. Of all the terrible things and wicked things. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Kill her! Okay! Okay! <laughs> She's using frost magic to slow me down! Don't let it slow you down, slice her bloody head off! I'm trying! Do! <laughs> Ah, excellent work, Donkle. That's one level up from the crab. And now you float away, my dear. Carried by the currents of your mistakes. Because you're dead! What are you doing? I'm singing. Well, that's very much not evil. I thought you were an evil person. Yes, but I like to sing. It's very weird. And you don't sing well. Who said I don't sing well? I said you, you're awful. Let's go find my son. Are you okay? No. Is it because I said you were bad at singing? No. Well, why don't we sing together now? Will that make you feel better? The mountains are breezy with fun and smiles. And we'll find your son and spread cheer for miles. And then... W would you shut up? Well, here we are. Doesn't seem too creepy at all. Yes, yes. I've been waiting for you to take that fat flower joy away. What the hell is that? There's a hack raven. Uh, hello, my boy. Son, it's me. The long lost, tortured soul spirit in the body of someone completely different, making this very awkward. Hey, Pa. Are you okay, young man? Don't be nice to him. We don't know if he's earned it. What's going on? Well, it seems like you're in a cage for witches and they're going to eat you or something. <laughs> and you're too annoying. Um, so you can come with us now. Oh. Thanks, I guess. That ungrateful little swine. Pop out his eyeballs with our thumbs. No. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, he, d he doesn't look like he worries about anything you're saying. The boy does seem quite stupid. Ah, oh, stop teasing me. 
Oh, he's gonna slow us down so much. I wish something exciting would happen. <laughs> There's your boost. <laughs> There's your boost, boy. Run fast. What are you doing? I I'm magicking the boy. How did I get magic? I have magic. You have magic. See, he's fine. Why are his eyes closed and why is he humming? He's a weirdo. Would you shock him again? Oh, God. <laughs> Would you stop trying to burn your son alive? Okay, when well, we're in Riften, what now? That way. <sighs> Feels good to be home. Well, you didn't decorate it much, did you? No! I was hardly here, it was only my wife and my boy. Speaking of which, I wonder if my boy's around. Oh dear. What do you mean, oh dear? There's my boy. What do you mean, there is your boy? I melted him into illuminating, beautiful substance. I call better son. That is absolutely foul and grotesque. Why would you ever do that? Son, look, if you do not obey and behave oneself, then when oneself shall find oneself in a puddle of illuminating goo oneself. I know. The boy just fell over. He fell over on the remains of my son in goo form. It seems like you've got a clumsy one. Burn him again. No, don't burn him again. My goodness, would you stop doing that? Okay, last time. Here. Here is where we will find my betrayer. Be careful, my boy. We don't know what horrors await in this dark, foul, get place. Oh, I do. Michael, we meet again. A toast to a beautiful friendship. How dare you say that to me after you took this glass sword into my spine? I'm here for vengeance, Michael. Boy, don't walk into the sword. That's how you lose your head, isn't it, on your nose? Answer me, Michael. Why did you do it? He turned his back on me again. Don't call. I don't know if I have the strength to do this. My favorite drinking buddy. He's messing with me, Donkle. He's messing with me, Moon Glitter. You look worse than I feel. Oh, he's inside my head. Just relax. Let's talk to him. See why he did it. Cabbage. Stop getting distracted. Let's not waste any time. Michael, I came here to remove you from existence, but as I gaze into your eyes, and you use words which drown me in the realization that I may not have been the best of friends to you, Michael. Pointy ears, Michael. Instead of killing you, I now ask for forgiveness. Please, take my hand and come with me once more. I'm a changed man. Quite literally, I'm in a completely different body. Sorry to hear that. Oh, Michael. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. I was really- Hey, you don't look so good. I've changed, Michael. This is Donkle Moonglitter, a puny, pathetic man who we will make stronger. What do you mean, make stronger? We found your old friend. Now leave my body at once. Think of it, Donkle. You have always longed for adventure, yet have always been too weak to conjure it yourself. Now with me in charge- In charge? Alongside you, we shall go on the grandest adventures of all. Okay, but no eating people. That's a fair trade. I expected you to put up more of a fight. I killed your mother, after all. Okay, well then where, where are we gonna find our adventure? <sighs> Hurry this up, Moon Glitter. Time is of the essence. <sighs> Oh, so many steps. Well, if you want adventure, don't call me on glitter. There is no greater adventure than to save the world, is that right? I suppose so. I'm a dragonborn, yet I neglected my duties once before. It is now time to learn my true potential. <sighs> okay, fine. Wait there. What? It's time for me to be the father that I never was. In life, you will meet people. You will be friends and enemies. Sometimes they cross over into one another, and you might not understand the correct course of action at the time, but with experience you will, and as it stands, Mr. Michael. Can I help you? No, Mr. Michael, you cannot. I don't forgive, and I damn sure don't forget. That's not strong enough. What are you doing? I'm trying to push you off of the mountain. This is not going very well, Michael. It's not going very well. Bloody, bloody, bloody move! Ah! 
Let's get going. Still, you mock me. Do you feel better now? No. I must train in the ways of the Dragonborn. You don't have to shout him off a cliff. Just forgive him. Next thing you know, you'll be wanting to shout the boy off of a cliff. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Do it better. Do it better. <laughs> uh, fly, my boy! Fly! <laughs> you are a vile, reprehensible man, and I wish to have nothing to do with you any further. Oh, come on! You'll be back. He's got firm padding. Bloody hell! He's right back again! Well, it seems like no matter how hard you try, you cannot wound this boy more than your lack of fatherhood has already done. No, oh, shut up, you preachy f sandwich. Michael, piss off! Bye now. Well, I suppose that's the end of the Michael adventure then. Yes. I decided to be the bigger man and let it go. Besides, I've got someone else to torture. <laughs> fly, my boy, fly! Fly into the sky! I'll gain more power and pluck out your eye! Push this door, Donkel, and allow a new adventure into your heart. Ow. We'll push it then, you idiot. Thank you to my Patreon producers, Steve2700, Alec McNeil, Alexandra Rodriguez, Cthulhu Steve, David Hannah, Days, and Joshua Silvers. Drax Lars, Francis, Gurf, Quake, High Punch the Sandwich, Jackson Jokers, Joe Baffert, Caden789, Kate Dobby, Amerigo, Mr. Kerry, PP Flint, Ravi Scarrett, Robert Johnson, Stefan Val, Jane Cole, Southern Insider, Sue Bagels, Tyler, North of the Barbarian, Victor, the Orphan Crepler, Zeevu of the Green.